the, the phrase Euro over tourism and to some extent tourism phobia I've heard used a couple of times is a relatively new one. Um, I think it is tapping into a concern that uh, we are seeing some of the most prominent destinations uh, in effect targeted by uh, many, many, many travelers uh, who want to come and take a picture of exactly the same setting. Maybe they feel like they got to post it. Maybe they've read about it in the tour guides, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, we need to make sure that uh, tra travel and tourism works in local communities and that the folks who live in those communities don't feel like somehow they've lost control of their environment or they can't, they can't live, they can't, they can't go through their normal, normal rhythms. And I think part of that is uh, being sensitive to the voices that are heard in the local communities. What are you concerned about? I think part of that is making sure that the local communities understand the jobs that are created from tourism, tax revenue that's generated by tourism, the economic growth so that they can sort of evaluate the, the economic value that comes from this. And then I think partly it is up to all of us to make sure that uh, travelers are not just going to one place, uh, but they're actually seeing the broad range of sites that are available. So if you, if you focus on London, think about all the things in London to go see and in the, in the English countryside. You don't have to go take a picture of Big Ben uh, or a Piccadilly Circus. You can, you can uh, spread out and see things and actually have a deeper experience and a better experience in that visit than you would be if you just go get that one Instagrammable moment. Over tourism is, is, uh, is a topic because the, 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 the people in the destination, they don't feel well uh, anymore. And that is not because, it's, of course, it's because it's crowded, but it is also because some of our of the customers or of the travelers who are not of not of our customers, but of the, the holiday makers, are not really behaving as appropriate as they behave at home, and and that is then creating somehow really a tension. That is one thing. The other thing is, with with the likes of Airbnb. Uh, it became much more popular to rent the flat. So this business was, was really growing and that added to the, to, the, to the crowd, first of all. Second, it added as well somehow to, 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 to the fact that the flats in those destinations all of a sudden became more expensive for the local people because the flat owner, they were renting it out at a higher price to, to Airbnb and their customers. And that came, became as well the tension. Obviously, I read a lot. Of course, I'm past chairman of World uh, Travel and Tourism. And some of the areas are being threatened. I mean, we just read in Thailand. Unfortunately, uh, the president decided to close one of the you know, great beach places the other day. And I think that the places which will come under threat are, I think, on the whole, beach places near Europe. I think that. That to me seems to be because it's near, it's cheap, and it's easy. And you just get too many people. And you know, we're just hearing the figures today. We're going from four billion uh, figures to what, 7.8 billion off the top of my head? That's huge. And you know, they're bringing up as we left today, what about the airports? How, how are the airports will going to change? So, I mean, I think tour I've always said, you know what, we should charge more. Tourism should be a high yield product and not a, not a cheap product, but a lot of my volume operators will <laughs> disagree with that. I don't know um, um, what exactly over tourism um, means and, and the myth and truth about it. I'm in destinations uh, very often and uh, I have not seen uh, too many people who told me that, uh, um, that we shouldn't send any tourists. And uh, uh, quite to the contrary, um, people are very positive about tourism because of the good forces of tourism. Tourism forces or in, uh, you know, introduces investment and destination, transfer of wealth, education. Um, many, many um, of the destination countries and destinations would be um, in a very bad situation if tourism wasn't there. Um, and you see that in particular in, in countries where, you know, there have been a downgrade of tourism numbers. And look at, um, look at Tunisia, look at, um, look at uh, Egypt, look at Turkey over the last uh, years. 
and everybody is happy if tourism comes back.